Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? Hey everyone, and wow. Just wow. I've been covering tech for a while, but what Google just pulled off at I.O. 2025? It's not just big. It's a bloodbath, seriously. If you thought other companies were leading the AI race, get ready to have your mind absolutely blown. Because Google didn't just step up, they vaporized the competition. They didn't just innovate, they redefined what's possible, leaving everyone else scrambling in their dust. Video generation. The war is over. Let's start with the absolute bombshell. VO3 and flow. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. Remember all the hype around other AI video generators? Oh, look, they can make a few seconds of blurry footage. Well, Google just dropped a cinematic atom bomb. VO3 isn't just making high-quality, realistic video from text prompts. It's doing it with sound. And isn't myth. We must prepare an expedition immediately. Think about that for a second. Background noise, ambient sounds, even characters talking in sync. With nature now. Nature would prefer some personal space. My jaw hit the floor. It's not just a step forward, it's a leap into an entirely new dimension of content creation. They're watching the north exit. Use the service tunnel. And then there's flow. This isn't just a generator. It's an AI film studio. It lets you direct scenes, control camera angles, extend shots, all with simple prompts. While others are still trying to generate a basic clip, Google just handed us the keys to Hollywood, powered by AI. Game over. They didn't just beat the competition in video, they essentially made them irrelevant. Gemini, your brain's new upgrade. But Google wasn't done showing off. Let's talk about Gemini. We already knew it was powerful, but at I.O. it got a massive upgrade. Gemini Live? This isn't just a voice assistant. It's a real-time AI companion that can see what you're seeing through your phone's camera and reason about it. I watched the demo, and it was genuinely mind-blowing. Hey Gemini, what's this weird plant? Or how do I fix this leaky pipe? And it just knows. It's like having an expert by your side 24 sevenths. Siri and Alexa just officially became relics of the past. They're not even in the same league. And the AI mode in Google search? Forget just typing in questions and getting links. Now, search is basically a conversational AI. You can ask it complex, multi-part questions, and it gives you structured, visual, comprehensive answers with sources. It's like having the entire internet summarized and explained by a super genius. Your old search engine is now just an old search engine. Beyond the hype, actual innovation. And it doesn't stop there. Project Astra, this is Google literally showing us the future of embodied AI, an assistant that not only sees and hears, but can also reason and act in the real world. This isn't a concept car. It's a prototype of a new reality. Google Beam, formerly Project Starline, takes video calls to a whole new level with 3D holograms. While everyone else is still stuck on flat screens, Google is pushing towards genuine presence. This is how you truly disrupt a market. Hey, Carlos. Welcome to Google Beam. How are you? How do you like this experience? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te gusta esta experiencia? Look, I'm not one to exaggerate, but what Google presented at I.O. 2025 wasn't just incremental updates. It was a declaration of dominance. They didn't just compete. 
they rewrote the rulebook for what AI can do. They created an ecosystem of interconnected AI services that touches every part of your digital life, from creating movies, to searching the web, to just living your daily life. If you were betting on anyone else in the AI race, it's time to cash out. Because Google just proved, without a shadow of a doubt, that they are not just ahead. They are so far ahead, you can't even see their taillights. What do you think? Are you ready for this AI future? Or is it a bit too much, too fast? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech deep dives.